All right, people on the Cape, they took advantage of the beautiful weather day to guard against what could come tomorrow night. Brandon Trout continues our live team coverage from East Dennis. Brandon? Hey, Chris, you know, it really is a picture perfect evening here. Hard to believe that there's any type of storm that might be on the way in a day or so. People here are staying calm and they're just tidying up a bit before the storm gets here. It's closing time for these boaters in East Dennis, pulling out their vessels for the season ahead of the potential wild winds and rough surf. When it gets to this point of the season, it's probably better to be safe than sorry. So that's, I do this every year around mid September. In Hyannis, a similar scene. Fishermen securing their boats ahead of Lee's potential impacts, hoping the extra lines they're casting can withstand any storm surge. The seas are pretty big right now. They got big ground swells out there. So everybody's rushing in and Securing the boats. This morning, an exodus of people leaving the islands. Ferries were full with folks telling us they didn't want to risk it. I don't want to get stuck there. And it's something if you live there, especially if you live there year round, you just know <laughs> when it's coming, you got to get out of Dodge. I wanted to stay for the, for the wind and the waves for sure, but I got to get back to Maine, take care of the house up there. Back in East Dennis, the trailers keep backing in. The countdown now on to see what Mark Lee might leave. So people that live around here say they're concerned about those high winds and any potential storm surge. Uh, there have been a lot of festivals this weekend canceled across the Cape. You know, those last summer wrap ups. Uh, people here just tell me they're planning to hunker down for at least part of the weekend. We're live in East Dennis. Brandon True at WBZ News. All right. Thanks, Brandon. And